Hey there, Steve Gamash here for Chef Knives to Go. And what we have this time on the Quick Look product review is the Katyama VG10 Guto 240mm knife. So this line of knives uses all stainless construction, so no uh, worry about corrosion. Just use it, clean it, wipe it dry, and put it away. The uh, type of steel that's in here in the center, so you can see you've got multiple layers of soft stainless cladding on the outside and Damascus pattern and then you also have uh, your hardcore uh, center cutting edge steel and that is VG10 full stainless steel he treats about 61 Rockwell in that coarse steel and then as mentioned you've got multiple layers of a very unique uh, cladding uh, it's a stainless Damascus cladding and you can see you've got some texture to that that's quite unique on this line of knives it's very eye-catching and a really nice job. Fair amount of polish on there. You can see the shine on it. You've also got hand engraved kanji on the left side of the blade. Fit and finish on these is very nice. This is the fourth one I've handled in this line. They've all been very consistent. So let's take a look at these statistics. Uh, these can vary a little bit from knife to knife, but this particular one is 183 grams or 6.5 ounces and the overall length is about 244 millimeters or 9.6 inches from the tip to the back of the heel. Overall length about uh, 390 millimeters. Thickness wise um, these knives have a really balanced combination of very thin behind the edge and enough spine thickness where you've got a pretty good amount of stiffness on the blade and uh, yet the performance is really good on these and it's just a balanced approach so you've got a pretty tall grind on there very thin at the tip very thin at the edge uh, again, so it's just a really good balanced combination of thinness and a little bit of meat up at the spine for some stiffness and some confidence on the board. So I got about 2.7 millimeters thick at the back here uh, above the heel, and then about 2 millimeter, 2.1 millimeters in the middle of the blade, halfway down. And then these do have a bit of a distal taper or thinning of the uh, spine as you go forward. When you hit the grind especially, it thins out, and you can see the tips are quite thin. And then the edge is also very thin behind the edge at the, at the main part of the blade. You can see that at the choil shot here. So performance on these is excellent. The Santoku I've been tinkering with has uh, just really solid performance. It's an excellent performer. And, and these should all be no different than that. They're all cut from the same cloth, if you will. Very thin behind the edge uh, and the, at the tip. And just good, good balance the way they grind it, how it kind of gradually goes up. So low wedging, just really nice balanced uh, performance characteristics. Uh, let's see, height. These are all pretty tall blades. That's just the style of this maker. So this one's about 54 millimeters at the heel. Plenty of room for our pinch grip. They do have a nice um, kind of flow where they're matching the handle width pretty close to the width of the neck here and so you got a nice spot where your fingers can just go right in there it's one kind of smooth surface there bam right in and you're ready to go uh, the handles are octagonal ambidextrous what they call kyaki with a uh, walnut colored ferrule this looks to me like pack of wood which is a stabilized wood product and you can see they've got a nice uh, glue up job in those so nice and tight glue up job uh, balance point on these is going to be up kind of hard in here and there's our balance point on this knife so the handles are fairly light so that's going to be in front of a pinch grip my pinch grip uh, that balance points a little in front of that so you kind of get a little bit of a blade forward weight bias to it which gives you some cutting power feel that you got a little bit of a blade in hand which you do because it's a pretty big knife um, six and a half ounces isn't heavy but it's got that kind of weight forward balance to it uh, fit and finish is really nicely done on all of these. They've taken time uh, to polish them. Uh, really clean work. All the blades have been quite straight, nice grinds, clean grinds. You can see your kanji there and those layers. This is the left side of the blade as you'd be holding it. And here's the right side of the blade as you'd be holding it using it. And again, you can see those layers there coming through. Nice polish on the spine. Really nice job on the choil into the neck here, rounding, polishing. Out of the box edge, you'll get a six out of 10. They, they're putting some pretty nice edges on these. And um, let's see, I guess next step would be cutting board. So these typically have a bit of a flat spot at the heel and some 
little bit more aggressive belly or curve to the uh, forward third of the blade for some rocking. So they tend to support a lot of uh, cutting styles well. And so you've got a pretty good flat spot that you roll into at the back. And then in the middle, kind of good work there, kind of low belly. And then you've got some belly towards the tip. And so I can get pretty high on this thing way up here. So I could definitely rock the heck out of this thing, no problem. A little bit of chopping at the back, you know, push-pull cuts. You could do some tip draws, although you got to put the blade pretty tall for that. Uh, so that's probably not its, its strength. But it's a balanced edge profile that supports a lot of different techniques well. So just a really nice line of knives. They're all fit and finish is really good. All stainless. Uh, performance is excellent. And value is definitely there. So highly recommend it. This is the Katyama VG10 Guto 240mm knife from Chef Knives to Go.